We need to shift ourselves. Listen, Wayne's. I've already said this down. Mommy, please. No funny business with these Protestant lads. Is that clear? I don't want anybody landing back here pregnant. Not very likely in my case. I wouldn't rule it out, son. As some of you may know, I took a bit of a sabbatical last year. Do you mean when you shacked up with a slut of hairdresser, but then she dumped you? Miss Mallon, please. Raise your hand if you want to ask a question. OK, I think we should just move on. The hairdresser certainly did. Hume has again called for cross-party peace talks. John's morning. really dying for peace, like, isn't he? It's all he ever goes on about. I hope it works out for him. I, I sort of hope it works out for all of us there. Come on, girls. Time to hit the road here. Have they roped you into going as well, son? Roped him? Hardly. He's riding Gary Barlow. I'm not. I, I just respect him as a songwriter, that's all. I did on James, so you do. Well, we need our passports, Jerry. For Belfast. I don't think so, love. Belfast? We're not about early, Daddy. It's a two-hour drive of traffic, love. This thing's in Belfast! But it's eight hours till the doors open. I know. We're cutting it fine. Thanks. Belfast! Sure, why don't you just sell away and send white slavery and be done with it? Jerry, I'll be with them, Dad. Well, that's worse. Should they hit his kind there? My kind? Pricks. OK, so this is just a little exercise I like to kick off with. Oh, give me strength. I want you guys to give me examples of things that Catholics and Protestants have in common and things that they don't have in common. Let's start with similarities. Aaron, why don't you get the ball rolling? OK. So we both... Right. So, so we all... God, this is actually quite hard. Anything at all, a small thing even. OK, so, right. God, I'm actually drawing a blank here, to be honest. Not to worry. Someone else. A similarity. Yes. Protestants are British and Catholics are Irish. So that's actually a difference. Quite a... Well, quite a big difference. If that's OK, we can write that down. Now, back to similarities. Yes. Uh, Protestants are richer. OK, so that's another difference. And I'm not sure that's actually... I mean, is that true? I would say so. Yeah, I suppose that's fair enough. Yes, great. Off you go. Catholics really buzz off statues and we don't so much. I do enjoy a good statue, it has to be said. So again, what we have there is a difference. Oh, Protestants like to march and Catholics like to walk. OK, can we just... Jenny, could you just... Oh, you've already written it down, have you? Great, thank you, Jenny. That time we went camping in Port Salon, sure she was like Mowgli running around them woods. She was that happy, Mary. I honestly thought about just leaving her there. Oh, Mama. This is 12A, right? That is correct, miss. And you are? Jenny. Jenny Joyce. Here we go. The flyer by Jenny Joyce. You're not going to read it out, are you? Of course. Poetry should always be read aloud. Some flowers are tall, some flowers are small. Some flowers barely grow at all. OK. That's not the end. It should be. Here's a poem about a dog. Here's another one about a dog. This one has no name on it. An English rose among thorns. Yeah, I can see why you might want to remain anonymous, all right. Dog poem, poem about a tree. This one's called Boys. I think boys are really class, especially the ones who have a nice ass. It's called Haiku. That's not what I would call it. Dog poem, dog poem. I oh, hear someone's just drawn a picture of a dog. That is not bad, actually. Thank you very much. We're going to the concert, uh, and that's the end of the matter. We finally panic at Belfast Zoo today when a polar bear escaped from its enclosure. The RUC have launched a widespread search and have warned residents in the local area to be... No, we really see that. I grant that. Because an escape polar bear is going to track us down and kill us. As if Mommy's bothered by that. As if a polar bear's going to rock up and attack that concert. You wouldn't get a ticket for a start. They sold out months ago. You'd be surprised, guys. Aye, the only boys would get in where drafts wouldn't. Sure, the concert's nowhere near the zoo. But he's not in the zoo anymore, is he, Simple Simon? He's sauntering about Belfast without a care in the world. I keep up, Jerry. What I'm saying is that it would be quite a lot of ground for him to cover. Oh, they're cracking their feet when they want to be, love. Someone might give him a laugh. Who said are you, Honorla? Come on, Mary. If you don't let Aaron go, then our man's won't let us go. One day they're the shoot, and I'd be ringing them to say as much. Oh, brilliant! Oh, I hate my life. Look, girls, I know how much you were looking forward to seeing this and that. Take that. 
But there'll be other concerts. No, there won't. The fact that this one's happening is a miracle. Nobody good ever comes here because we keep killing each other. And now we're over on the polar bears. Where will it end? Seriously! <sighs> right, listen, Gears, I've never told anyone this before, but sometimes when Robbie's being interviewed, it's like he's sending me messages through the TV. You know, like telepathically or whatever. It's like he's saying, we're meant to be together. I maybe don't tell that to anyone again, Michelle. I just want to pause and think about what's in here. What about the fact that we all feel and love and hope and... Write this down. We all cry. We all laugh. We all dream. So I just want to think along those lines for a moment. OK? Catholics, watch our TV. Protestants love cleaning. Protestants are taller. Catholics have more freckles. Protestants hate ABBA. OK, thank you. Let me just rephrase slightly. Can you think of anything that unites every single person in this room? Is there anything that we all want? For this to be over. And we'll wrap it up there. Fancy another beer, mate? Of course, I just love beer. Don't you just love beer? Yeah, beer is nice. I love beer and football and poker and, you know, tits. Tits? Can't get enough of them. Well, then again, I am a lad. Yeah, you may be a lad, John, but I can offer you protection. I have a hunting knife. Right, OK. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Nature's calling. Whoa! Number one or number two? Excuse me? Just answer the question, John. I don't want to answer the question. I'm not comfortable with the question. Because if it's a number two, it's safer to bury it. You don't want a pack of wolves following your scent out in these parts. Those boys, they'll tear you limb from limb. We're inside. Very sophisticated noses, John. I'm going to go now. Can't you let me have anything for myself? No. She's coming. Who? Hey. The woman, the small, angry penguin woman. Sister Michael! <laughs> Oh, good evening, sister. We just popped round because we had a few questions about the British Empire, which the boys have cleared up for us now, so... They weren't talking about the British Empire, sister. They were having a party. I could hear the music. You will go far in life, Jenny. But you will not be well-liked. What's in the suitcase, Michelle? Vodka. You brought an entire suitcase full of vodka? No. There's mixers as well, not a savage. You can mix vodka with cider, right? God, I am boiling. Is it any wonder, Claire? What are you wearing? Yeah, you look like a fucking provo. Look, I don't want anyone recognising me, OK? No one's going to oh. recognise you, Claire. Claire Devlin, is that you? Jesus Christ. Relax, Claire. It's the weekend. She has no authority over us at the weekend. She has no right to question us. And if she tries to, I'll tell her as much. Morning, girls. Morning. Morning, Sister Michael. Michael. What takes you to Belfast? I'm not really sure that... Speak up. I'm not really sure that that's any of your... Business. I'm going to assume that was an ill-judged attempt at humour, Miss Quinn. Yes. Now answer the question. We're going to the museum. Which museum? The Ulster Museum. What for? A project, a history project. What about? Ulster. God, this old writing from this old carry-on is a nightmare. I know. What rhymes with ride? Bide. Bide. What the fuck does bide mean? Bide. That's not a word. It is a word, Michelle. Bide. You've pure made that up. The voice of Mr. Adams. His words are spoken by an actor. Well, with respect, and I mean, if you're watching... I movie, will never understand the point of that. I'll never understand the point of view. Grandson. What do you think, James? You've got red eyes because I ran out of brown. My eyes are green. No, you tell me. Argument is an insult to the majority of people of Northern Ireland. It's All right, Ian, we get the idea, like... <laughs> You foot or not. Uh, the picture's just gone a bit sort of... Dear Jesus! You have to give it a bit of a shock now and again. You have to keep it on his toes. I'm not sure you do have to keep it on his toes, Joe. It's a television. OK, OK, OK! I'm just going to turn it off and turn it on again. That usually does the trick. There we go. Hmm? Doesn't seem to be anything happening now. This stupid prick's broken the TV, Mary! For God's sake, Jerry! He's been footering. Excuse me, you're the one that was thumping us repeatedly, Joe. I'll thump you repeatedly. Well, the pair, you better sort it out. 
London's burning's on in 20 minutes. God, Mary, but them poor fellas flat out with fire, so they are. Jesus, but they never get a minute. And now, I don't mind a bit of a breeze. If anything, I prefer it. But Don was aggressive. So I says to himself, says I, Colm, this is no day for a do. What's happening? For when the bride arrived, and as I say, by this stage, the wind was fierce. My dad. I've never heard wind like it. Is this my week? Howling like a banshee it was. Am I in hell? So the poor girl, the bride now this is, she arrives anyway, and isn't she no sooner out of the car than she's lifted up in the air like a pepper doll and blown into a flower bed. That's actually quite funny. What do you think of this one? I don't know. I'm not sure she really. Good. I don't want to be me. Which of these do you like best? Definitely the pink. Has to be the blue. Yeah, I thought the blue. This doesn't do my babs any justice. Have you decided who you're bringing yet? Well, I've not ordered only two. There's big Johnny Kales who works in Duns. Thick as fuck, but a massive, massive ride. Then there's this other fella. He's not as thick, but he's also not as hot. Although I have heard he is really good with his hands. And when I say he's good with his hands, I'm not talking about putting up shelves, girls. I'm talking Everybody about... Everybody knows what you're talking about, Michelle. Fingering. Honestly. All right. I hope you don't mind, Mrs Quinn, but... It's yourself. Long time, Gertz. It is indeed. And fair play to you, Kathy. You've kept them eyebrows ship shape, so you have. Credit where credit's due. Oh, you're too kind, Sarah. I'm serious, they're in great nick. That must be some comfort to you. I'm sorry? We heard about your wee divorce. Nightmare? Yeah, it was a difficult decision, but Paul, my ex, well, he just became so controlling. Jesus, really? He was unbearable towards the end. It was always, oh, Cathy, why did you stay out all night? Or who was that man you were having dinner with, Cathy? He was very insecure. Wonder why? I mean, James's father was the same. I just seem to attract the possessive jealous types. I don't know what it is. The eyebrows. And I hate to impose on you, but um, I just need to make a quick call. And unbelievably, my sister doesn't have a phone. She got rid of it when we wrecked up that massive bell ring in Russell Grant's horoscope hotline. Doesn't see that coming. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Death. Just, just makes you want to do everything and just like, try everything. What's going on, Michelle? Do you want to say something, class? What is it? Prepare yourself, girls. <sighs> scones. That's right. What's so class about scones? Scones are lovely. I, I like scones. No, these aren't any old scones, girls. These are funny scones. Ah, they do look like a crack of fairness. Funny scones. They're jug scones. She's put the jugs in the scones. Too fucking right, I have. I wanted to do brownies, but this was the only recipe my man had, so... We talked about this, Michelle. We agreed. No, we didn't. Anyway, drugs aren't illegal when you put them into food. Everybody knows that. Is that right? I'm not sure that's right. Any cups up here? I take that. What the fuck just happened? Are you staying with your Deirdre, then? Yes, I am, and it's a bloody nightmare, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> I'd forgotten just how small these little houses are. <laughs> I really don't know how you do it. Always struggle through, Cathy. In our teeny tiny house. But it's all worth it if I get to see my big handsome boy. <laughs> He's going to be the only man in my life from now on. I right. I've just missed him so much. Well, you did dump him here quite a long time ago. Mum's had a lot going on. Yeah, I've actually just started my own business. It's been a real passion project, a real labour of love. <laughs> and it's really starting to take off now, so... Right. And what sort of area is it? Self-adhesive labels? Stickers? I design high-end self-adhesive labels. You make stickers? For bespoke gift packages. They're a sticker maker? No, they're not stickers, exactly. And would there be much money in sticker making, Cathy? They're not stickers. Labels, they're labels. I think it's going to do really well. Listen, here you. Yes, John. I just want to say... <laughs> I think you're doing a fine job. Keep up the good work. <laughs>